The final step to being conscious is to step up. This is about acting boldly and responsibly. It's the antidote to playing too small. People play small by being too cautious or too self-centered and immature, but both get in the way of your happiness and your performance. Stepping up is about reaching toward your highest potential. It's about leadership and action. It's about tapping and championing your higher purpose, listening carefully to the stakeholders in your environment, living and leading with constructive impatience, building a shared consciousness with the people around you, and helping people to be bigger and better than you found them. In today's partisan and polarizing world, one of the ways we can step up is by making civility our guide. Now this is a time when we need to work closely together to address some of the most complex issues inside our organizations and communities. However, the annual report, Civility in America, a multi-year survey by public relations firm Weber and Chandwick, shows there is a major problem in the way we treat each other these days. The essence of civility is to be courteous and considerate in your interactions with others. Civility lets you disagree without disrespect, find a starting point for dialogue, and distance yourself from your biases. Conscious people realize there's a human being on the other end of every connection. So here's some tips to help you choose civility as your guide. Be conscious of how you relate to others. Regularly ask yourself about the impact of your behavior on other people. Tell those you care about how grateful you are to have them in your life. Commit to civility every day. Be kind and loving. Write a personal note of appreciation. Look someone in the eye and smile. Catch people in the act of doing something right. Thirdly is create a civility code at your workplace. Calling out civility is a good place to start to foster civility at work. Avoid situations which generate negative energy, like failing to return phone calls or emails or ignoring others or not keeping your appointments. You see, if we look deep inside ourselves, we have the solution to be more civil. And it starts with being conscious.